Just another weekend, I don't wanna go out Maybe we can stay in, play a little soul child Hey y'all, um, I'm back again with another video And in this video, if you read the title You know I'm gonna be talking about how I, me, keep Got into the illustrious Spelman College so let's just jump into the video. I'm gonna take y'all way, way, way back to ninth grade. So, high school, I went to the number one high school in the state of Georgia, Columbus High School. Um, and what did I do? Ninth grade. Um, well, every year at Columbus, you have to do um, community service. So, ninth grade, really, all I did was community service. And yeah, all I did was community service. I really didn't enjoy any clubs because I was like, oh, I want to fill everything out. Shouldn't have done that. But my grades weren't the best um, my grade year. And sadly, that pushed me away from a lot of things that I could have been doing junior year and senior year. But we'll get into that later. So my grades weren't the best freshman year. I had like a C. I had like really low B's like really really low B's I had like one or two A's and I was like in my dance class and my PE class and stuff like that so like oh in my like my government class like I didn't have the best of grades but I made connections or whatever and like I got to know my teachers and I was a part of this um teen enrichment group through the AKs so that like I did that so that that brought me like a lot of connections and also brought me a lot of um community service a lot of community service I did a lot with that group but um yeah that's what I did ninth grade year like just community pure community service so summer going into 10th grade I did community service at the boys and girls club I've been done doing community service at the boys and girls club since I was in um, middle school, because we had to do community service from middle school too, because I was in the IB program. But um, Columbus is a total magnet school, so everyone is a magnet, and you have to have like a certain certain grade point average to stay at the school. You can't get, you can't like fail or anything, because it's like it's not like your home school, so you can't like do credit recovery or anything like that. So um, I didn't fail, but I just wanted to get that out. Um, but tenth grade, going into tenth grade year, I volunteer at the boys and girls club the whole summer like i was there every day people thought i worked there but i wasn't getting paid anyway i worked there the whole summer and then 10th grade year i started joining clubs i started french and i was really good at it so i joined the french club and then um what else i joined peer helpers um yeah i was in peer, peer helpers 10th grade and also what else did i do i think that's all i think that's it i think that's all i did um, so yeah, I did, well, and I was still doing community service, um, I did a lot of community service, I volunteered with, like, um, a tutorial program at a local elementary school, I did, like, open classic, open door walk, um, 10th grade year, and also 10th grade year, um, we switched from semester to, like, um, what is it called, like, ADV day type stuff, like, the period schedule, that's, like, like that's what we switched to. So, um, I got better grades. I had, like, almost all A's, but I had, 80, I had 89 in chemistry. Anyway, I had, like, almost all A's, and I took, like, two AP classes. So, I took AP World History, and I took AP Human History, and I took both of those AP tests, and I got a four on both of those tests. So, yeah, that's what I did 10th grade year. And then, um, going into 10th, 11th grade year, I worked at the Boys and Girls Club again. Well, I volunteered there again. And then, um, yeah, I, vol I volunteered there every single day. Like, I was there, like, when they opened until, like, when my mom got off. And that was when they were closing. So, that's what I did this summer, that summer. And then, going into junior year, uh, what did I do? I took APs again. I took AP Physics. I took AP Psychology. And I took AP, um, U.S. History, A push, And, um, yeah, I took those three. And I also joined the marching band. I joined the color guard, um, for my school's marching band. 
so that was that was like a lot of practices or whatever and practices were at the at night and then on Fridays you know you have late football games and then sometimes on Saturday you have a marching band competition because we weren't like HBCU style um I went to like a predominantly white um high school especially with predominantly white alumni so we were like common core type marching band so that's what I did um most of the times band and then my grades kind of slipped because like physics AP physics was really hard and then AP US history wasn't like AP world history it wasn't like where you um it was like a whole like if you got it the basic idea for one period of time you got the basic idea for the rest of the periods but it wasn't like that it was like really small details and I didn't know my presidents I didn't know their policies so like a push was really hard for me but um I came out with A's and B's again but like they kind of slid they kind of got a little low but I took I was taking three A's so like those B's were kind of like A's so yeah um I had like I had a B minus in physics and like a B in A push, but it was okay. Um, and I was taking, oh, in junior year, I took um, the SAT and the, I, I was taking SAT prep. So you take the verbal, um, it was like a course offered at my school. So you take the verbal portion one semester and you take the math portion another semester. And I was really good at math, but like with my SAT prep teacher, he taught us like how exactly how to do the problems. And I, I did really good in that class. I think I had like a hundred or something. But um, I see like the SAT, it was around the time when the SAT was changing. So um, I said the SAT, if you sign up for the SAT in October, um, you got to take the SAT, I think you got to take the SAT in December for free, like the trial SAT for in December. So I took the SAT in October, um, and don't ask, don't ask me my scores because I really don't remember. Cause, and then in October, they still had the writing portion, so in December, um, I took it again, and I did a little better. I think I had like a... 1170 or something like that. I'm not sure what I had, but I know when I took it again, I think I took it again in March. And that was when it actually had a switch. But I was already used to the switch because I had took it in December for a trial or whatever. And I and I knew, I know um, in, the, in March when I took it for like the first like one of its like new, new switch over or whatever. I got a 690 on my math, and I got a 590 on my um, in, in English reading. I don't know what the section is called anymore, but I got a 690, I got a 590. So I had a 1280 um, on that one, and that was my best score. So obviously that was the score. I was giving like the scholarship people in my colleges when I applied. So that was um junior year. Um yeah. So oh junior year also I think it was like in April. I took the A C T. And the A C T is really like it's really like a little bit easier than the SAT. Like if you do well on if you like if you kinda like uh on the SAT, if I think you'll do a little bit better on the A C T. Because the ACT to me was a lot easier. I got a 27 on my ACTs. And um, that was mainly because um, it was a science portion. And at the time, I was really like a science person. I like science. And then it was also like the math portion was like different than SATs. Because um, I was in pre-calc at the time. My 11th grade year, I was taking pre-calc. Because I was on like the accelerated math track or whatever. So, in pre-calc, um, we was basically learning, like, everything that was on the ACT at the time. So, I was learning it. It was fresh. I knew how to do it. So, I got a 27 that time. So, yeah, I was like, okay. I didn't know a 27 was good. So, I was talking to my mom. I was like, mom, um, I got my ACT scores back. And then, we're, I remember, we were in the parking lot of Publix. We were driving um, home. And then... I was like, is a 27 good? She said, is a 27 good? I was like, oh, I guess, I guess it is. 
So, um, I felt kind of good about myself. Um, even though I wasn't doing too hot in my classes, I was doing pretty good on the ACT and the SAT. So, um, then summer going into, um, 11th, 12th grade year, I didn't volunteer at the Boys and Girls Club that time, this time, because, um, just like management changes or whatever. So, I volunteer at our air show because senior year, usually you have to do like an assignment when you do your community service, but senior year you just do your um 20 hours and then you're done because you're a senior you've done everything already um so i just did the air show is two days 10 hours each day and then yeah it was pretty easy i worked the lemonade stand so yeah i but i was still doing like i was still in like the ascend group or whatever it's not ascend anymore but i was still in that so like i was actually um like doing still doing community service with them and also i was doing the heritage bowl every year it's called the anna a mims heritage bowl i did that every single year and i think came in the first place two times yeah and then we came in like second place or third place two times so yeah um my junior year i was captain of the our heritage bowl team and then senior year going into senior year um, I took a dream trip or a study abroad trip, I guess, to Costa Rica. Um, I'm still in the marching band. And then I really didn't do anything else. Um, I didn't do any community service during the summer time. But um, I did start, when you start a band, I'm, I was the captain of my, of the marching band. And then I was still in, oh, the end of my junior year, I got inducted into the National Beta Club. And I also got inducted into um, the National French Honor Society. And I got inducted into the National Honor Society. So, um, I brought my GPA up so I, can, so I can get inducted into those societies. But I didn't get inducted into, like, individual subject um, honor societies. Because, like, you have to have, like, an A in all your classes. And it'll be, like, I had a B one year. But not the rest of the years. But you still, like, it's not an average. It's, like... A every single year so I didn't get any to any of the subject honor societies like math or English or social studies or nothing like that but um yeah um I became president of the peer helpers for my senior year I became captain of the color guard for my senior year and then also senior year I um what did I do I ran to be student student body senior class president but I didn't win but my campaign posters were still cute. So, even though, like, since I ran to be student, like, senior class president, people really knew my face. Especially especially the black kids. Because, like, they were like, oh, my God, black president, black president. But it didn't happen. Anyway, um, I ended up doing um, senior council. So, that's when you have a res representative from each senior class or whatever. Like, our humanities class where we do our senior project or whatever. So, um, I... I got chosen to be on senior council. Um, yeah. Then, um, what did I do? Oh, yeah. So, this is, this is, um, senior year while I'm getting ready to apply to Spelman. But, um, I had already toured Spelman. I did a day in your life my junior year. Junior year. So, I had already knew, like, I was like, okay, I'm going to Spelman. Spelman was the only school I toured. I didn't go to any other school. And I even remember my tour from Spelman. I was like, I'm going to go. So, um, senior year, my classes, I was taking how many APs? I don't know. I took AP Calculus, AB. I took AP um, Lit, AP English Literature. And then I took, um, I don't know what else I took. I think I was taking some of the, oh, I was taking AP um, macroeconomics. So I was taking three AP senior year too. But, um, yeah, I was taking three APs. So when I applied, I had a lot of, when I applied to Spelman, my senior year, I applied super, early, super, super early. I applied in like September. So, um, oh, yeah. So I applied in September and then, um, I had like a 1280 on my SATs. I had a 27 on my ACTs, um, I had over 500 hours of community service. 
um what else did i have Last was like over six or seven hundred because i only have 500 from the boys and girls club and i have like a lot of other hours from doing um community service with ascend and so um what else did i do i was in clubs i was in the french club by my senior year i had joined the art club um and i was inducted into the art honor society so I was in the art honor society, I was in the art club, I was in the French club, I was in the French honor society, I was in beta club, I was in national honor society, I was in senior council, um, I was on in the band, like all that stuff went on my um, application, my Common App, because Spelman, um, you can apply to Spelman through the Common App, so all that was on my Common App, and then what else, I, um, had eight APs. I was in the pro progress of finishing my last three, so I already took five APs. So I was um, on my way to eight APs. Um, if you're not taking AP, all the rest of your classes are honors. So, but you can only put, I think you can only put up to 10 honor classes on there. So, um, even though I had more honors classes, I can only add 10 on my common app. And then I think for my essay for Spelman, I think I talked about, um, I think it was like, if you could start a club at your school, what would it be? And then I started, I think I said I was going to start a club, um, like a black student association at my school, where we can like learn about black history, because the only time we would really learn about black history is if you're taking AP US history, and it's not really a lot of black history in that course, or if you're doing the black history program during February. And that wasn't a lot either. And I felt like we were missing out um, as high school students going into college. I felt like you need to be aware of your blackness before you go out into the real world. And Columbus High School just wasn't teaching you that. So that's what I really wanted to choose. Um, because like a lot of violence, I didn't want to see like a lot of violence or whatever in my own community. And I was just like, wow, like I'm, I'm really passionate about this. So I that's what I talked about. Um, for my essay I think it was my personal essay um also my senior year I applied to Spelman in Georgia State and that that was all I was going to apply to until we had like a scholarship week or whatever and then um yeah we had a scholarship week and you had to apply to scholarships the whole week or colleges so I really didn't like apply to scholarships that much that week like i applied to scholarships but like that week i was like it was no deadlines coming up so i was like what am i gonna do so um i applied to another school everyone everyone i knew was applying to mercer so i was like okay like mercer's a pretty easy application i don't have to write any essays so i applied i got into mercer and i got a full ride and like like it wasn't like a regular full ride it was like a full ride plus financial aid that would like carry me over so like I would have money coming back to me but I still wanted to go to Spelman and then I applied to Georgia State yeah I already said that but I applied to Clark Atlanta um university it's in the AEC too because I was like mm, maybe if I don't get into Spelman um I can go to Clark or Clark Atlanta whatever but um yeah I was really down on myself about senior year about getting into Spelman like I didn't think I was going to be able to get into Spelman like at all so um I applied to Clark Atlanta, but I didn't put them on my FAFSA, so I didn't get any financial aid from them, and then, like, like 404, num 404 numbers would call me from Atlanta, and I would answer, like, really quick, because I thought it was Spelman, but, like, one time, it was Clark Atlanta, and they were like, oh, did you put us on your FAFSA? And I was like, I think I did, and I knew the whole time I did it, because I didn't want to go there, but, um, yeah, um, so, yeah, so, September, I was applying to Spelman, and then that whole semester, I was in my guidance counselor's office every week, like maybe two or three times a week, and I was finding scholarships. I was like, you have any more scholarships? you have any more scholarships? Can you write me a recommendation for this scholarship? Can you write me a recommendation? Because I was in there so often, he knew me. So, he, of course, he could write me a recommendation because, like, okay, I'm giving you these scholarships. I know who you are. Um, I know your face. I know what you can do, and I can pull up your grades. 
So that's really what um, I did my senior year. I stayed in the guidance counselor's office getting scholarships. I applied for almost all of the sorority and fraternity scholarships. Um, I applied for local scholarships. I applied for big scholarships. And I had a lot of scholarships when I went to school. Um, I, I didn't have a lot, like a lot, a lot of scholarships, but like I had a good amount of scholarships. And then I applied for like, like if your parents have a job, apply for the, the job scholarship too. Cause, um, I think I was the only one, my mom works for this company and I applied for their scholarship and I think I was the only one to get it. So they all like flew out to Columbus to like have lunch with me and stuff like that. It was great. I was like, okay, I can do this. But yeah, um, so December um, I applied early notification. I should have applied early decision, but I applied early notification because, like, I wasn't sure if I was going to, like, be able to go to Spelman, so I applied early notification because it's non-binding. So, um, uh, so I was supposed to get my decision on December 31st, but my decision came, like, December 23rd. came, like, a couple of days before Christmas, and I remember the day, like, it was yesterday because, like, my mom called me. I thought I was in trouble. I was going through my mind, like, what have I done? I haven't done anything. Like, why am I in trouble? And then she was, like, holding my letter in her hand. And, like, I did not want to touch it. I didn't want to jinx myself. Um, but I said, I opened it. Anyway. She was like, if you're not going to open it, I'm opening it. I was like, no, you're not going to open my letter. So I opened my letter and I read it. I started crying. I was crying because I didn't think, I didn't think I was going to get in this moment. There's a lot of people that are better than me, that have better grades than me, um, but I didn't think I was going to get in. So, yeah. That's my video. That's how I got into Spelman. That's what I did all four of my years of high school to get into Spelman, to get ready for Spelman, to prepare for the Spelmanite life. So, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video.